now we solve another problem a bag contains four red six yellow and five green balls okay so four red plus six yellow plus five green balls okay so red yellow and green okay so in total how many balls are there so 15 balls are there okay so 15 balls are there so this will be your n value so three balls are drawn randomly so r will be equals to three so in the denominator it is 15 c3 straight away okay so then how about the numerator what is the probability that the balls drawn contain balls of different colors okay so how many different colors are there so three different colors are there okay so they are asking what is the probability that the balls contain different colors okay so here they have drawn three balls so what is the probability that they contain different colors so how many different colors are there three different colors are there right so uh, you can take this as you know uh, each ball contains each different color it means that one is red one is yellow and uh, uh, the other is green okay so then it is 4c1 into 6c1 into 5c1 okay so each ball is containing different color okay so one is red one is yellow other is green okay so this is how you have to solve this now let us solve another problem so here you know uh, this is a bit uh, typical problem that you have to make sure you have to be aware of these kind of problems okay so let us first read the question a bag contains five green balls three blue balls okay so five green balls plus three blue balls okay so in total how many balls are there eight balls are there and that is your n value three balls picked at random okay so three balls picked at random okay so in the denominator it is eight c three right so now now let us see the condition probability that at least one ball is green so whenever there is at least or utmost statements in the question you must be very aware okay because there may be multiple cases that are possible which are to be separated by r okay please do remember whenever there is r for different cases case 1 or case 2 there may be different possibilities okay so you have to add them okay to get the final answer that you have to very careful okay so now so they are telling that one ball is green okay so three balls are there in total so total three balls are there what is the probability that at least one ball is green okay for suppose in the first case case one one green ball is there and how about the other two two blue balls will be there okay so then case two then here it, there may be two green balls and one blue ball okay here also the sum is 3 right so now case 3 so here so how many green balls are there in total 5 for suppose if there are only 2 green balls you can stop till here because you can't take 3 balls out of 2 balls okay as there are more green balls here okay you can anyway take three balls okay so you are supposed to take three balls all the three balls can be green okay but but for suppose if uh, there are no five green balls for suppose if there are only two green balls then this case cannot come okay so that you have to make sure okay so whether this value is more than this or not or equal to this or not okay that you have to make sure okay so here in this case there are five green balls so you can comfortably take three green balls out of the five okay so three green balls oh no that will be equals to three itself okay you need not take any blue ball here okay so these are all the three cases that are possible okay so now we'll write the expression from this okay so one green ball plus plus means it is not r okay one green ball and two blue balls okay so how to write this so one green ball out of total five green balls okay five c1 into two out of three okay three c2 okay 
plus okay so either this or this or this okay so you have to add all those possibilities okay next 5c2 into 3c1 plus 5c3 okay so if you just solve this you will get the answer okay so this is how you have to solve this okay similar kind of problem we have already solved in the case of permutations and combinations once okay so please go through it okay if you have not seen that video okay so please do remember whenever the and comes you have to multiply it whenever there is or you have to add it okay so this is valid both for permutations and combinations and probability okay you have to remember that and you have to follow that okay